everybody in the ghettos of Jackson, Mississippi, the ghettos of Little Rock, Arkansas, the ghettos of Fort Lauderdale, the ghettos of Georgia, the ghettos of Richmond, Virginia. Nobody's thinking about no damn voter fraud. You will never hear a black person in the hood talk about some damn voter fraud as a major problem. Voter fraud is a major problem for black bourgeoisie Negroes. Voter fraud is a major problem for black bourgeoisie Negroes. And then when we talk to the politicians about violence in the community, we ask them, what are they going to do to stop the violence? That is not the question you ask a politician. Political science 101. You don't ask the politician, what are you going to do about violence? That's not the question. We're supposed to tell them what to do about violence, not ask them what they're going to do about violence. You're supposed to tell them what they're going to do about violence, not ask them what they're going to do about violence. You're supposed to tell them what to do about violence, not ask them what to do about violence. If you ask them what to do about violence, you know what they're going to give you? More white police and more white prisons. If you ask them what they're going to do about violence, they're going to give you more white police and more white prisons. If you ask them what to do about violence, they're going to give you more white police and more white prisons. You don't ask them. You tell them we need industries in the black community. Who's going to tell Kamala Harris we need industries in the black community that hire black men with livable wage jobs and ex-offenders, black men and women with livable wage jobs? We need industries in the black community. When, bring a factory to the black community. Bring a factory to the black community. My gangster rappers, let me talk to my gangster rappers. You fake ass hip hop artists who don't do nothing in the black community but give out sneakers and turkeys. Yeah, you Negroes. You Negroes who will cancel Drake, but Eminem has full access. Cancel Drake, but Eminem got full access. Cancel Drake, but Eminem is the GOAT. Let me talk to you hypocrites. If there's one thing that perturbs me about the hip hoppers. If it's one thing that perturbs me about the hip hoppers, for all the Gucci and all the Louis and all the Air Jordan and all the Balenciaga and all the designer names that you Negroes parade around on your bodies like cheap slaves. The one thing gangster rap could have done for the black community. The one thing gangster rap could have done for the black community. Why didn't you make Nike build a factory in the black ghettos of America to employ black men? I'm going to say it again. Do you know that our rappers could have got together? It made Nike build a factory in the black community to give our people jobs. Do you realize the gangster rappers could have got together and went to Mercedes Benz and BMW? And they could have said for all the Benzes and Mercedes that we buy from y'all, y'all going to put a Mercedes factory in the black community. Y'all going to put a BMW factory in the black community. All those expensive cars y'all like to drive, the Teslas, make Tesla put a factory in the black community and give our people some jobs. You like Gucci, make Gucci put a factory in the black community and give us jobs. You like Louis Vuitton, make Louis Vuitton put a factory in the black community and give us some damn jobs. That's what hip hop could have done for us. That's what hip hop should have done for us. That's what hip hop could have done for us. 50 years and no solutions. 50 years and no institutions. 50 years and no resources. You can go to war for Eminem, but you can't go to war for black boys. 
You can go to war for DJ Khaled, but you can't go to war for black boys. You can defend culture vulture DJ Vlad, but you can't defend the life of black boys. I didn't ask you what Nike wanted to do with the influence of hip hop in black culture. Black people are the trendsetters. Black people are the trendsetters of the planet Earth. The American African is the trendsetter of the planet Earth. If all the hip hop artists came together and told Nike, you're going to build a factory in the black community or we will never wear another Nike. You're going to open up a Mercedes Benz factory or we will never buy another Mercedes Benz. You're going to open up a Louis Vuitton factory in the black community or we will never buy another Louis Vuitton. I didn't say ask him. I said, tell him, you Negro pen. First of all, all Negro peans, get off my damn chat. Bunny hoppers, get off the damn chat. I forgot I had to get you parasites off my feet. All you parasites, get off my damn feet. You Negro peans, you bunny hoppers, you snow puppy lovers, get your ass up off my feet. I'm not talking to you. Get your ass off my life. Get your ass off my life. Ain't nobody talking to you. Damn parasites. You ain't nothing but a community parasite. Get your ass off my feet. Go make love to your bunny with the flat booty. Get your ass off my feet. Go make love to your bunny with the flat booty. Get your ass off my feet. Go make love to the bunny with the flat booty. She ain't got no damn center buns. She ain't got no honey buns. She got a brick wall waiting for your ass, a pale brick wall. But let me stay focused, brothers and sisters. Let me stay focused, Africans. We having a serious conversation. Let me stay focused. You got a pale wall waiting for you, you nasty ass. You got a pale wall. I got voluptuous honey buns, but let me stay focused. Let you let me stay focused, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused, brothers. Stay focused, brothers. Brothers, higher chakra. We up here today, brothers. Third eye, crown chakra. Third eye, crown chakra, voice chakra. We up here, brothers. Top three chakras: throat, third eye crown so like I said the reason black on black crime doesn't get the attention that it needs the reason black on black crime doesn't get the attention that it needs is educated blacks have abandoned their community for a white suburb it's not their problem anymore it's not their problem anymore it's not their problem anymore. Let me compare this black on black crime thing a little bit more. Let me compare this black on black crime thing a little bit more. 77% of white gun violence is homicide. Listen to me. I'm teaching family. 77% of white gun violence is suicide. 77% of white gun violence is suicide. Most of the time when white people are shooting white people, they are killing themselves. Most of the time when white people are shooting white people, they're killing themselves. 77% of white gun violence is suicide. Now let's that Let's compare that to us. Now let's compare that to us. 77% of white gun violence is suicide. 82% of black gun violence is homicide. As violent as white people are, as violent as the Caucasian can be, as violent as the Neanderthal nation can be, most of their violence 
is self-inflicted. Most white violence is self-inflicted. 77% of white gun violence is suicide. 82% of black gun violence is homicide. Do y'all see how bad this is? Do y'all see how bad this is? And some of y'all going to say, ain't nothing I can do about grown men killing grown men. Okay. Well, guess what? Most black on black homicide, most black on black homicide is black men under the age of 30. These are our babies. Most black on black homicide is age 20 to 29. What about the teenage black boys killing themselves? How are we going to have black on black love if we ain't got no black men to love our sisters? How are we going to have black on black love if we ain't got no black men to love our sisters? How are we going to talk about black on black love when we ain't got no black men to love our sisters? You don't ask politicians what they're going to do. You tell them, we don't need more police. There is no evidence. There is no research. There is no proof. There is no evidence. There is no research. There is no proof that more police and more prisons reduce crime. There is no proof no evidence, no research that proves more police and more prisons reduce crime. So, Dr. Umar, if that is true, why do they keep on giving us more police and more prisons to give white people more jobs? They're using black on black crime to give white people an economic stimulus package. That's why. And none of your politicians don't do anything about it. They use black on black crime to improve the economy of the white suburbs. They give more jobs to white cops and they create more prisons and give more jobs to white people in the name of black on black crime. And don't none of your elected officials say anything about it. It costs more to incarcerate a black person than to give them a job. It costs more to incarcerate a black person than to give them a job. It costs more to incarcerate a black person than to give them a job. You say, well, if it costs more to lock us up than to give us a job, why not give us a job? Because they're trying to exterminate you. That's why. The American dream is not a big house. The American dream is not a Ph.D., an American dream is not a Mercedes Benz. The American dream is not a beautiful family. The American dream is to go outside and not see a single Negro in sight. That is the American dream. And what you black people have failed to understand these 159 years since the 13th Amendment, and the one thing you black people have failed to understand for these 159 years since the 13th Amendment, and what you black people have failed to understand these 159 years since the 13th Amendment, America has been working towards the American dream. The government has been working towards the American dream. Your presidents and your Congress and your Supreme Court have been working towards the American dream. And what is the American dream? An America without black people. The American dream is an America without black people. The American dream is an American, an America without black people. This is genocide. We are living in the midst of genocide. And y'all worrying about who you're going to vote for president. They're not going to do nothing about black on black crime, but send more police in to kill more black people. You don't ask people who don't care about your children to stop the problems of your children. That's like we go to the public schools and we tell the white teachers, can you please stop miseducating our children? Are you crazy? We don't love your kids and you know we don't love your kids and you still send your kids to our schools. We don't love your kids and you know we don't love your kids, but you're too lazy to use your own money to organize your community and educate your own children. 
We are the laughing stock of the United States. We are the laughing stock of the United States. Don't you find it interesting? Don't you find it interesting that when political candidates want the black vote, they don't come and talk to you. They don't come and negotiate with you. They don't come and reason you when a politician wants the black vote. They don't come and talk to you. They don't come and listen to you. They don't come in. Kamala Harris hasn't scheduled any listening sessions with the black community. Donald Trump hasn't scheduled any listening sessions with the black community. When they want the black vote, they send Meg the Stallion in to shake her ass. And I love my sister. I love my sister. I love my sister Meg the Stallion. No disrespect. I'm just using her as an example. When you want the black vote, you don't talk to them. Entertain them. They don't think. Black people want to be entertained. If you want the black vote, go send Meg the Stallion in and let her entertain them. Black people don't need to be talked to. Black people don't need to be negotiated with. Black people don't need to be listened to. Black people don't need to be reasoned. Send some rappers in to entertain them. You have to entertain the black vote out of the Negro community. You have to entertain the black vote out of the Negro community. You have to entertain the black vote out of the Negro community. Let me give you a comparative example. Let me get... Peace and Pan-Africanism. I'm on my Instagram live. I'll call you back when I'm done. Could you imagine if Kamala Harris... Could you imagine if Kamala Harris wanted the Chinese vote? And she showed up in Chinatown with a bunch of Chinese rappers rapping for the Chinese community to get the Chinese vote. Do you think she would get the Chinese vote after that? Do you think she would get the Chinese vote after that? If Kamala Harris wanted the Arab vote, what if she showed up with a bunch of Arabic musicians in Dearborn, Michigan? Kamala Harris is going to show up in Dearborn, Michigan with a bunch of Arabic rappers. Do you think she's going to get the vote after that? That would be considered an extreme insult. That would be considered an extreme act of disrespect for every community except black people. We have an anti-Asian hate bill. We got an anti-LGBT bill. We got a Native American bill. We got an immigrant bill. But you know what we're going to do for black people? We're going to give them a Juneteenth cookout on the White House lawn. We're going to give black people a Juneteenth cookout cookout on the White House lawn. Joe Biden, a Juneteenth cookout on the White That's what you do with black people. Parties and bullshit. That's all they care about. Parties and bullshit. That's all they care about. Parties and bullshit. That's all they care about. And then after they gave you a Juneteenth cookout on the White House lawn, they gave you a 50 years of hip hop destruction cookout at Kamala Harris's house. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Kamala Harris threw y'all a 50 years of hip hop destruction cookout at her house with her snow puppy. That's what she did for y'all. And this is the woman you're going to vote in. She didn't pass no laws. She didn't drop off no resources. She didn't build no institutions or industries in the black community. Oh, we need black jobs. But somebody needs to go ask Orange Man Donald Trump. Somebody needs to go ask Agent Orange Donald Trump. Somebody needs to go ask Agent Orange since you talked about black jobs. See, this is how you're supposed to conduct your politics. Go back to Donald Trump and say, since you talked about black jobs and you are a businessman yourself. You come from corporate America, Donald Trump. Since you brought up black jobs, how many industries are you going to build inside the black community? That's what we should have. My sisters on the National Association of Black Journalism couch, let me tell you where you three sisters messed up besides wearing red, white, and blue. Let me tell you where you three sisters messed up the other day besides wearing red, white, and blue. Let me tell you where you three sisters messed up 
the other day. You only put that panel together to try to embarrass and chastise Donald Trump. You did not put that panel together to try to get some concessions out of him. So you wasted the whole panel because that was a pro Kamala Harris panel whose job was to make Donald Trump look bad. You can't afford to choose sides between two enemies. You can't afford to choose sides between two enemies. You can't afford to choose sides between two enemies. What you should have said was, since you brought up black jobs in your debate with Joe Biden, what you should have said was, since you brought up black jobs with Joe Biden, we of the American African community need to know how many industries are you going to build in black America? If Donald Trump got on the news right now and said, I promise to build five factories that can employ at least 500 American Africans in five major black cities, I would vote for him. If Kamala Harris got on the news and said, I will build five industries in five major black cities to give jobs only to black people, and I'm, I'm going to stop gentrification, I'm going to stop gentrification so those jobs don't end up going to non-black people. If either one of them promised me that, I might vote November 5th. I might vote November 5th. I might vote November 5th, but guess what? They ain't building no industries for us because they trying to exterminate us. They ain't got to build no industries for us because they know we're not going to organize and make them build any industries for us. Where is the Congressional Black Caucus? Mighty quiet right now. I'm telling you right now, if I catch a Negro campaigning for Kamala or Donald, and you ain't got a list of concessions. You better have a list of concessions on paper that better include industries. It better include industries. It better include economic investment in black business. It better include criminal justice reform. It better include mass educational reform. Or we gonna boo you. We might got to have a couple boo parties. Brothers and sisters, are y'all ready to show up and show out? We may have to boo some of these gatekeepers we may have to show up and boo some of these gatekeepers we're not going to let you come to the black community and exploit the poor uneducated black vote and our people don't get nothing we're not going to let y'all do that we're not going since y'all want to be gatekeepers for the white power structure i'm going to be a gatekeeper for poor underclass black america that's right now we got our own gatekeepers now to get, I'm a ghetto gatekeeper. I'm going to protect my people from being exploited. I am a ghetto political gatekeeper. I'm going to stop my people from being exploited by black bourgeoisies who want to give black people false hope to help one of these enemies get elected to the White House. Melanin drip, melanin drip. Let me check in with my Ifa Tunde queen. And where my queens at? Ladies, are you there? Butter almond, are you there? Butter pecan, are you there? Warm peanut butter, are you there? Smooth cinnamon, are you there? My milky nutmeg sisters, are my fudge sisters there? My African pina coladas, are you there? My warm walnut, my smooth chestnut queens, my brown sugar queens, my light brown sugar, my dark brown sugar, my medium brown sugar queens. Where my natural hair queens at? Are we got, are my happy to be nappy queens in the building? Are my happy to be nappy queens in the building? I just got to check. I love my sisters. I love you ladies. I'm always going to defend my sisters. Oh yes. Beta males, control your coon chip. Beta males, con control your coon chip right now. Beta males, relax. Beta males. When you serve the people, 
you too will get love from the queendom. When you serve the people, you too will get love for the queendom. When you serve the people, oh yes, I'm gonna take more pictures today. Eastern Michigan University, Honors College, three o'clock today, Black Consciousness Conference, Saturday, August 3rd, Edward Wilmot Biden, Solar Return. I'm going to take more pictures today. I love posting pictures with my beautiful African sisters. I love posting pictures with my beautiful, oh yes. I hope I get my passport so I can go see my beautiful London Queens. Where my London Queens at? Where my Brixton Queens of the United Kingdom at? Where my Wolverhampton Queens and my Luton Queens and my Manchester Queens of England at? Where my Irish Queens at? Oh yes. Where my Scottish African Queens? Oh yes. Where my Costa Rica Queens? Where my Honduras Queens? Where my Panamanian Queens? Where my Brazilian Queens? Where my Jamaican Queens and my Turks and Caicos Queens and my Bahamian Queens and where my Texas Queens? Where my Michigan Queens? Where my Florida Queens? Where my California Queens? Where my DC Queens? Where my Maryland Queens? Where my Connecticut Queens? Where my Rhode Island Queens at? Where my Omaha, Nebraska Queens? Where my Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul Queens? Brothers and sisters, Brothers and sisters, we have to get back on the Garvey train because we are losing. We have to get back on the Garvey train because we are losing. We have to get back on the Garvey train because we are losing. Listen, y'all. Black on black crime is purging the black men, purging the black community of black men. We need industries. We need an overhaul of the education system. Two things for Kamala and Donald. When y'all talk to Kamala and Donald, your governor candidates, your senatorial candidates, your state legislature candidates, institutions, industries, and education. That's it. Build some industries with livable wage jobs. Build some industries with livable wage jobs and overhaul the school system. That's all we need. Jobs and schools, better jobs and better schools. That's all we need. Let me ask y'all a question. 1968, a few months before Dr. King was assassinated. In 1968, a few months before Dr. King was assassinated, Lyndon Baines Johnson's Kerner Commission put out a study on the causes of the race riots of 1967. They put out a study on the causes of the race riots of 1967. Tomorrow morning is new moon in Leo. Where are my Leos at? Where my Leos at? Brother Leos, sister Leos, elder Leos, where my Leos at? Tomorrow is new moon in Leo. All Leos, make sure you wake up and meditate during the new moon. Don't sleep on the new moon tomorrow, Leos. We are ruled by the sun. We are the center of existence. Tomorrow is a new moon in Leo. 7 a.m., 7, 10 a.m., I believe. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in California, you got to get up at four o'clock in the morning. My California Leos, my Texas Leos, my Minneapolis Leos, my Omaha Leos, you got to get up at 6 a.m. And my East Coast Leos, you got to get up at 7 a.m. Make sure you meditate for African liberation and into black crime and into black femicide and into sexual trafficking. Re-emergence of self-respect, re-emergence of solidarity, re-emergence of organization, liberation for our mother continent of Africa. Because no matter how much we struggle in America, we can't forget Africa. No matter how much we fight in America, we can't forget Africa. Africa is the motherland. It is the mother continent. She is the queen mother of us all. As she goes, so goes the rest of us. As Africa goes, so goes the rest of us. Pretendians, hop off the feed right now. Pretendians, hop off the feed right now. Pretendians, hop off the feed right now. Brothers and sisters, in 1967, the Kerner Commission released a report on the causes of the 1967 race riots. In 1967, America had more than 100 race riots. 
This is before they murdered Dr. King. This is before they murdered Dr. King. America had more than 100 race riots. Lyndon Baines Johnson put together a commission to study the causes of the race riots. That commission published a report called the Kerner Commission. You need to read it. Everybody go to Barnes and Noble. Go because the black bookstores don't have it. Go to Barnes and Noble and get you a copy of the Kerner Com Black bookstores. Make sure you order a couple copies of the Kerner Commission. All black bookstores, you are being given an order by the Minister of Education of the African Race, Ifa Tunde Oguntade. All black bookstores, you are being given an order from your Minister of Education, Dr. Ifa.